All right, so today on the menu, I got some chili I'm gonna do for you guys. Usually I would do the, the meat sludge chili, which is basically ground up meat that everyone does. Um, usually, I mean, I like that, but usually I'll just do that on chili dogs or nachos or something like that. But what I'm gonna do is like a Mexican style, like chili con carne. Chili con carne. Yeah, but what I'm gonna do is like a Mexican style chili. Um, which is basically as close to Texas style as possible. I don't even really know what Texas style is. All I know is that they don't use beans. They don't, they don't think they use tomatoes. And all it is is stock and beer and just as simple as possible, some dried chilies in there. Um, I'm, not, I'm not gonna use chili powder. What I'm gonna do is take some dried chilies and rehydrate them in water and then blend them up and throw them in with the meat with, along with some stock and some uh, jalapenos and onions and stuff like that. So let's see how it goes. All right, so the first thing I'm going to start out with for the base of the chili, I'm going to use two onions. I have three jalapenos I'm going to dice up, and I have about six cloves of garlic as well. All right, so for the actual chilies I'm going to put in the chili, I have chili de arbol. I got some pasilla peppers and some guajillo chilies. The only spicy ones are the um, the chili de arbol, so if you don't like it too spicy, don't put too much in. But what I'm gonna do is toast them in a pan right here. Make sure you don't toast them too much because they're gonna get bitter and it's not gonna be good. You just want a really light color like that. Get a medium low heat and put some hot water and then I'm gonna soak those in there. Um, as you can see, I took the stems and the seeds out and I'm also gonna toast those in the pan right here as well. And then you can see it's got a little bit of color, but not too much. So you want to soak these for about 15-20 minutes so they get really pliable and soft. Um, it's not going to take too long. You can see right there how it kind of softened up a little bit. Then we got a blender. I'm going to throw these in a blender. And then reserve some of that liquid because you're going to need it to put in there. So it gets nice and uh, pureed up just like that. And all you're looking for is like a paste kind of consistency to that. And then if you want to clear your sinuses out, go ahead and stick your face in that right there. It'll help you out <laughs> pretty good. Uh, what I'm going to do is just set that off to the side. I got a little under two pounds of chuck roast that's cubed up. I'm going to salt and pepper that and then mix it up a little bit. I got a hot pan with some vegetable oil. And I'm going to do two batches because if you put too much meat in at one time, it's going to steam and you're not going to get any color on the meat. So once that's browned up, we're going to take the meat off to the side. We got some nice fond building up in the bottom right there, which is going to be good for the flavor. I'm just going to put the vegetables back in. Um, salt and pepper that and then sweat it down for a couple minutes so it gets a little translucent. I got about a tablespoon of some oregano. Use Mexican oregano, but I only had Italian. And then I did about a teaspoon of cumin. If I had more, I would use more, but that's all I had. Then I got some hipster porter right here. I'm gonna deglaze. You're gonna get a nice, rich, chocolatey flavor from that. And all you're gonna do is reduce that on high for about three minutes. So, you know, it reduces down to about half. We're gonna throw back in the meat with all the juices. And then we have that um, chili paste we're going to put in there as well. And then I'm going to mix that in. And then I'm also using beef broth right here. It's low sodium beef broth. And I just put it back in the, um, the blender so I can get the rest of that chili paste out. I ended up using about a little more than half the box of the broth. And then to thicken it up, I have some corn masa right here. I'm using two tablespoons of that, about a half cup of the broth. And I'm just going to mix it up until you get it kind of like a paste. And then we're going to pour it back into the chili. And so then when it cooks down, you're going to get a good like corn flavor to it. It's going to thicken it up. And it's going to smell like tamales if you like that kind of smell. I think it smelled pretty good. Uh, but we're just going to mix it up like that. And then all you're going to do is throw a lid on it. Put it on a low simmer for about two and a half hours. And then to go with it, I'm going to do some rice. I have three cloves of garlic with some oil that I'm going to kind of saute down a little bit. I'm going to do one cup of basmati rice because I like the basmati rice. Um, you can use whatever rice you want, but I'm going to just fry that up till it comes a little translucent. I got two cups of water that I'm going to put in there. And I have some bouillon, tomato bouillon and chicken bouillon. So for every cup of water, I use one teaspoon of bouillon. I'm going to do one of each and then bring that up to a boil like that. Set the timer for 18 minutes, put a lid on it. And then after the 18 minutes, don't lift the lid up for at least five to 10 minutes. Um, just so you, if you get your, it'll help you get your rice nice and fluffy like that. And that's pretty much it, pretty simple. Then after about two and a half hours, your chili is going to look like that. It's still going to thicken up a little bit. Uh, but that's what it looks like so far. Also to go with it, I'm going to do a little bit of avocado. 
um, then I'm just gonna put in a bowl right here and I'm using the juice of one lime and just some kosher salt and I'm just gonna mix it up like that pretty simple all right so obviously this chili isn't your traditional chili that everyone likes to do um, I think it's Texas style I'm not sure so if anyone watches this and you're from Texas tell me what I did wrong tell me what you usually do um, how to make it different and more legit um, this is just you know my interpretation of it um, if you don't like really spicy food this probably isn't for you if you don't like the taste of enchiladas like the enchilada sauce and you probably won't like this but I thought it was awesome I'll probably do it again um, you know there's a million different ways to make chili so I mean you could add beans in there I'm sure you know a lot of people probably hate putting beans in their chili but I like that as well I really don't have any one way I would make it um, I would probably throw some canned tomatoes in there also which would make it pretty good you need a little bit of acid in there I think um, but yeah look good to me tell me what you guys think and once again I want to thank you guys for watching um, I'll see you guys again on the next video. Peace out.